it was clear that the turnout at the workshop was almost entirely male. To get more insight on why this could be so, I spoke to Jia Yang, one of the few girls at the event. Uh, I'm definitely stronger now. I feel like I feel more useful now because I can do more things with my body. Yeah, and like it's made me appreciate the urban environment in a different way. Because now I can see how I can play with the structures. Instead of just like sitting or using a table, I can go over it, climb it. Yeah. Even now I'm still weaker than most of the people here. I think I'm probably one of the weakest. Yeah, but um strength we can train uh, but it takes a long while. Then the scary part is true, uh, like when you first do a move, it's really very scary. But after you do it once or twice, then it starts becoming scary. So yeah. Why do you think uh, not many girls do parkour? I don't know. Why, why don't you do parkour? <laughs> uh, I tried. I tried to start. Really? Yeah, oh. I was participating at the start, but oh. it was so tiring oh. and scary. Speaking to Jia Yang got me thinking about the gender imbalance in the parkour scene. After doing some online research, I found an all-female parkour class conducted by A2 Movements and decided to pay them a visit. Why do you think most girls avoid doing parkour? Mm, I would say more on like uh, the amount of training it requires to actually be like semi-passable at it. Like because a lot of girls, more in the sense they are more into like uh, less strenuous activities or they want something that is more instant kind of results and parkour isn't something like that. So that's why they don't really come. Hi, my name is Ching, I'm 32 this year. So I'm um, the founder of A2 Parkour and yeah, so we're a training parkour academy. Yeah, we have a small little indoor space for people to train, it's called the Freelance Lodge. So we created a ladies class mainly because, you know, some of the girls prefer an all girls environment uh, to train together with. So that's the whole reason why. Because it's always been seen as a very masculine activity, whereby it's the biggest jump, it's the biggest gap. But nonetheless, there is a very feminine aspect in parkour, whereby the flow, the flow of motion the flow of uh, traversing from one point to the other in a very flowy move. That's, that's the more feminine side of parkour that um, you know, sometimes some of the female athletes actually pull off really well as well. There's a certain grace to it. Seeing the girls at A2 give their all in practicing parkour. The parkour community in Singapore is a small but an incredibly welcoming one. One can expect much pain when learning parkour. But perseverance promises a rich harvest of health benefits, mental strength, and a close-knit community passionate to keep growing.